What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization Beyond Earth. In the uh, previous episode, we completely destroyed Chengsu. I now own all of his cities, and sadly, I cannot get rid of any of them. Um, as much as I would like, I can't raise them. Uh, let's see. Oh, the option is gone entirely now. Yep. Alright, but uh, the, the reason why I couldn't do that is because all of his cities used to be his capital at one point, so... That was kind of a bummer. And now, what we're doing is we're focusing on regaining our lost health. Uh, because it's slightly low. Now that we have all these cities, so we want to fix that. Um, so we're making stuff like... Uh, let's see... Laboratory, that doesn't work. Launch complex. We made a bunch of like silo nurseries, uh, pharma labs, I believe they are called. Uh, just a bunch of different. Yes, I'll get some some petroleum actually. All right, cutter. Let's go over there. All right, you over there. So good. Is that guy still healing? Um, all right. So now all we really have to worry about is um, other sponsors being angry. I mean, I can imagine that they're not a big fan of me murdering everybody. So, we're just keeping our eyes open. Alright, so let's get rid of the Makara, whatever you are. That weird, uh, shrimpy looking thing. Alright, so our agent has arrived. Let's give him an operation to do. Establish a network. And we can choose our next virtue, so... Basically... Oh, this is a very good one. I'm mostly looking for stuff that will get me health, so this would be a nice one, but we can't get it yet. Um, so what I think we should do is just go with public security, where we'll, we will get extra health for every military unit. And then if we just get a few extra ones, then we're gonna be totally fine. Yeah, we'll do that. I can't. I- oh god, I need to get this one first. Uh, alright, that's kind of a bummer. Because I could get to profiteering in the same amount of time, I think, so... Yeah, I can, actually. Wait, so which one gave seven again? Oh, here we go. Mine over matter. Uh, yeah, that one will take quite a bit longer to get to. So I'm gonna have to make a choice. Do I want profiteering? Which will give me half, half a health, I guess, for every trait unit I have. Or something that will benefit all my... Uh, having a big army, basically. I gotta tell you, I like this one because I am planning on going domination. Um, I touched upon this, uh, I think shortly in the previous video where it suddenly struck me that a domination victory could be completely possible. Um, and I think that would be a lot of fun as well. Um, I never even did that in the original Beyond Earth. Which, I didn't even play that much. I think I only won two games or so. Oh, he doesn't like my... Virtue. Yeah, they're probably not big fans of might, I'm guessing. Um, but what are you gonna do about it? It's, but she likes me a lot because of my, um... Oh god, yep, yeah, that explorer is definitely dead. Sorry, buddy. He is not gonna survive, um... Four different attacks. Alright, so we killed the Makara, we got some, some signs from that as well. Oh my god, he survived. Okay, get the heck out of there. Let's just hope that the drones can get to him. Alright, so there was a resource pod over there. This guy is not completely healed up, so I'm gonna send him back to the, uh, the capital. Uh, I'm gonna leave these guys up here to keep an eye on stuff. If the, uh, African Union decides to double-cross me or backstab me, whatever, uh, I wanna... Ooh, that's... yeah, that's a good one. I want to make sure I'm ready for that and that I actually see it coming, because if I don't, then I'm going to be in trouble. Um, so for now, I'll just spread out my troops a bit, so they can keep an eye on everything. And, let's see, cruiser, take out the sea dragon. And we'll get some science from that as well. 21. Not bad at all. It's not that much, considering I get 76 per turn. Uh, but it's a nice little bonus, you know, I'm not saying no to that. Oh, scarabs. I don't think we've seen scarabs yet. And they certainly do look like scarabs, so, you know, good job with that. Uh, let's see, one other thing... ...was my personality, so if I do get, um, 
Uh, okay, so if I get 345 uh, diplomatic capital, then I'll get five extra health, which is pretty good. So I'll probably just save up for that. Just get that personality trait. Because we're going to be needing a lot of health during this game. If we are going domination, we need a lot of health. Basically. We are number one in terms of points as well, which is sweet. Um, Alright, cognition is done. That is super neat. Academies, neuro labs. Uh, the Guo Pu Yaolan also looked pretty okay. But not really something that I needed. Alright, let's get this guy out of here. If he's dead, then he's no good to me. Alrighty, you're just hanging out here, I guess. Go over there. There's still two more players that we haven't met yet. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna send you up there. Alright, Tidehunters, go over there. Go to Ilamir. Um, Alright, so just hang out over there. Alien nest discovered, so that's where all the aliens are coming from. It's right here, actually, apparently. Probably want to take care of that, although we are doing a good job in taking out all these, uh, these aliens. And we get some nice, I believe we get culture and science for taking them out. Maybe it's just science, it probably is, actually. Alright, let's see, we know that... Hmm, do we even know where the other people are? Over here? And over here. Alright, so we want to go towards the uh, the west, basically. Alright, I'll keep that in mind, definitely. Alright, so we got Cognition. Uh, mostly so we could get closer to a higher supremacy level, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, let's see, Bionics. Biowells, which are actually pretty sweet. Maintenance is slightly higher, but you do get some health and some okay food as well. Institutes. Not bad. Bionics Lab. Pretty nice. Technical robots. That one is actually pretty doable. Oh, defense grid is only four turns, though. Master control. Free maintenance and plus one movement for workers. That's actually pretty bad, but still. Drone cage. See, this we can actually do. An elite soldier medic assisted by multi-purpose servant drones that autonomously heal Adjacent wounded units. That sounds awesome. I want to check that out. Um, yeah, so like I said, I think at the beginning, um, for me, this first game in Rising Tide is mostly to check a lot of things out. I want to see new units, new technology, new buildings, wonders, everything. Uh, someone's going to go with a bunch of different things. All right, let's see. Trade Convoy. Uh, Alright, so that they can make one of those. Uh, auto plant, hollow sweet. Pretty good. Pretty sweet, especially considering all the Phyrexide that we have uh, nearby. Yeah, let's just do that then. Alright, so this is my capital city. Let's get a laboratory. I can also move the city and start working towards the eggs and the algae. Uh, just to get some more land. I think I want to do that, actually. Because I haven't really moved that much. Alright, what's up? Uh, yeah, okay. See ya. Alright, so let's see. She, or he, uh, likes me somewhat. Not too scared. He likes me a lot. He's also quite scared. Uh, she, okay, so same deal. She's not scared at all, though. This guy's dead, so signal loss. There you go feel good about that. Uh, let's see. All right. So let's, let's just go ahead and check out, uh, her city. I want to know how far it is. Oh, well, actually, I, I guess I already know that, but also what she's got crawling around in terms of units. Currently, she is one of my biggest allies, but she's also one of the smallest players. Um, so taking her out should really not be an issue at all. I think. Oh no. What? How? How did you die, buddy? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, that's a real bummer. Alright, so let's just hang out over here. Let's go to this alien nest, first of all. Pillage the alien nest, yes. Ooh, okay. Crystal Shrimp Adult. 
<clears throat> the adult version of the crystal shrimp is a valuable source of high density protein, iron, zinc, and magnesium. A major difference between the adult shrimp and the pupa is the addition of long fiber like tendrils that help the shrimp monitor movement in the water. Okay. 60 signs, 25 food. I really like that food though. That's good. And it's an artifact, so we can actually use this thing to make something out of it. Naval units gain a lot of extra defense against, basically double defense against ranged attacks. That's pretty good. Um, okay, exhibition speed. Honestly, don't really care for that one. Artifacts are discovered 20% more often. All right. Doesn't sound too bad. Cities come bombard. Oh, we already know that one. All right, so... I kind of like this one, though. It seems like that would be very, very good. Um, especially if you, if you have a large fleet. It's going to be very hard to take it out with ranged attacks. I mean, that just seems very, very... valuable in a war. I'm going to make this one. All right, tidal navigation. Okay. So we got that. Now I'm just wondering, is that like an upgrade we need to grab or do they just get it instantly? I'm not really sure. Maybe I need to make something to actually get this. Um, so many possibilities here. All right, just chill. All right, let's go meet these other players that we know are there. Uh, Cause I'd like to know what they're up to. All right, go. Check out the Germans. I don't trust them. They are my most trustworthy ally, but you never know. All right, siphon some energy then. Establishing a network. All right, so we're, we are siphoning some energy here, although I don't know how much it's going to be. I wish there was a way to check later on. Oh, wh war declaration. What? No, I haven't. I haven't even met her yet. What? All right, so this is uh, Franco Iberia. I actually played as them in one of my previous games, and apparently now I've declared war on them and everybody approves, but I don't know who they are. <clears throat> so, you know, explain that one to me. What's up, Germany? We're just checking stuff out over here. I hope that's okay. Totally did not mean to threaten you at all. Oh, what's going on with those boats you got there? All right, so the city has grown. That's sweet. Uh, yep, that's a good tile. I support working this one. Um, all right, so after the trade convoy is done, I'll probably move the city to get the eggs and the coral and stuff and move a bit closer to the uh, petroleum, the shell, and the phyrexite as well. All right, so this city has moved. We can move it once more. It'll only take, it'll only take one turn, so let's do it. Let's just get that extra bit of land. We did destroy a farm in the process, so... It's just a slight amount of wasted effort, but I don't really care. Alright, let's 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 just actually meet these people. I want to know if I'm now actually at war with them, or if this is some strange bug. Uh, because I do remember this happening before. Alright, Trade Depot. Established a network, good. All right, so this city is going to go ahead and move. Yep, just go. It's time. Um, all right, Deep Castles just moved. We basically got all the resources that we really want, so I'll, pr I'll probably just leave it over here. And I'm going to go ahead and work on a two science. Honestly, I feel like a mm, dry dock's also quite good. Just for that production. Although they already have pretty good production, so... It doesn't tell me how much they have per turn, though. 24. Alright. We probably do want to get that a bit higher, so here we go. Yeah, what was up with the boat I just saw, Germany? What are you doing with that? Alright, trade convoy is done. We are going to trade with... Ooh, that's pretty good. So they would get some of my luxury resources, but if we trade with um, the African Union, I get some resources as well, which is pretty cool. Question is, do I actually need them? Do I need... Well, I guess having some for X I could be a good thing. Alright, so I should probably trade with... 
Fabo, just to give them slightly, just one less signs per turn. Just, you know, let's just do that. Let's be that sad, where we're trying to steal one signs per turn from the African Union. My god. Alright, so we, we check this out. We know their deal now. Oh, who's- oh, that's the... What's their- what's their face? Uh, honestly do not remember. Al- Al Fatah or something? Al Falah, there you go. Alright, are you scared yet? Nope, starting to become less scared. Alright. Uh, so we got a cruiser. I can send that cutter back. I don't think I have to worry about uh, Germany attacking me. Because we are allied and they know that I could crush them. You know, they're not going to mess with me. Let's get some of this for X side, actually. Oh, we already have. Look at that. We already have eight. We have 16 titanium. This is pretty sweet. Station Sentinel. Oh, right, yep. An alliance has forced your hand against Hutama. Are you kidding me? They just forced me to go to war with, uh, Freeland. Okay, that was not my intention at all. Alright, so let's see. Everybody just declared war on that guy. Alright, and then he cancelled an agreement. Apparently everybody likes it when I... Cancelled the agreement? What? Like, I'm forced to do that, guys. Surely you understand this. Alright, so he had one random unit. Here we go. He had this armor thing just sort of floating around. I guess we have no choice but to take it down now, though. I guess we found our next target. Uh, oh, they're actually they're attacking uh, the Germans right now. Look at that. But he's so far away. Am I just going to have to send my entire fleet that way to take him out? Oh, God. All right. So, will this do if I plant it here? This is Station Sentinel. It's supposed to, um... Okay. It's supposed to make the station a little bit more effective, but I can't get closer to it right now. I'm just going to launch it. I guess we'll just see if it, if it works. It does not. I messed up there. I wonder if we can move it at some point. Alright, yeah, I'll do it. You know I need my, um... My, my, my stuff. What is this? Progenitor device. Okay. Alrighty, we got one more covert operation right now. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's just siphon some energy. That's the only option either way, so whatever. Can we move past here? We can. That's sweet. So it looks like, for some reason, everybody is turning against Hutama. I, do, I don't know why. It's a bit odd, really. Alright, buy that. Wrong tile, no! Okay. Let's just work that for X side as well. Um, and I guess I'll just send out my fleet and uh, kill this dude. Oh, he's, he's got a unit over here. Not for long, though. Get out of my waters, man. All over here. There's, all this stuff is my water. I hope they really should know that by now. Um, Alright, personality traits. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this one. To get that extra um, health. That's nice. And, alright. Alright, so as a result of this war... They're forcing my hand, and they're forcing me to, um... Alright. They are forcing me to make more military units. Um, I was planning on taking a short break from the war, but apparently I'm not allowed. At all. Um, let's go fix up some stuff around Deep Castle, actually, with that worker. Alright, Tidehunter, let's go. Let's see, I'm still gonna send out this guy. I'm gonna need my cruisers because they're just too dependable. And let's see, I'm gonna send them all back. We're gonna take out Utama. I wonder if we can even take his seat at all. I mean, something tells me that that's gonna be very, very tricky. Let's salvage this thing. Yeah. 
seismic sounding fork, a bizarre rock formation that resonates with tectonic activity. Structures such as this produce a low frequency hum that many colonists consider soothing. Scientists have found these geological sounding forks invaluable in revealing the secrets of this planet's subterranean environment. Alright, so we got this. It's going to give us a lot of energy. Uh, which is pretty sweet, but I'll just keep it for now, obviously. And we also got some more science and some uh, food. So that's that's cool. Man, look at this maze that we're going to have to uh, maneuver through. Alright. You go here as well. Let's fix up some stuff for the for the capital. And it looks like all of Hutama's boats are now gone, which is good. I think I'll just let um, Alphala and um, Germany I integer or something uh, attack them first. Oh, they're angered. The aliens are slightly angered now. Apparently, I went a little too far by taking out some of their nests. Uh, they're not big fans of that. Alright, city grew again. Alright, so let's move once again this way. We're almost done, I promise. Um, Alright, so we can easily crush most of these aliens. But I don't want to right now. I want to pillage this. Yeah. They're very angry now. They did not enjoy my little attack. All right, let's keep going. Oh god, there's so many. All right, let's go. We got back up on the way. All right, so we have two boats. They're already sort of close to um to Freeland. Pull Australia. That's what it was. Freeland is just the name of his capital, I believe. All right, so let's keep going. Oh, look at that. He's got a little cutter here. Isn't that something? All right, go. I'm going to get that guy. I'm going to get his little boat. Oh, we found another one. Look at that. Time to die. Say goodbye to your armor. Because it's gone. All right, that's good. We don't get too much uh, signs from this, but I also like the experience that I get from warfare. I just have a feeling that this path that we're on will eventually lead to um, everybody getting angry. If I were to take Hutama's capital, that means that I already have three in my possession. Because uh, I have my own, I have Chung Su's, and then I would have um, Pole Australia's as well. I'm pretty sure people would get quite upset at that point. Oh god, what's up, buddy? Alright, let's defend. We can't. Alright, let's just move past them or something. I don't care. Alright. There needs there's gotta be some better path though to get to uh Paul Australia. And these boats are gonna try to find it. What is this thing? Ripper, kill it. Yeah, the aliens are not really feeling me right now. Honestly, I wouldn't even kill them if they weren't completely in my way. They've made the aliens just far, far more annoying with this expansion. Alright, take them out, boys. Good. Let's go. We get, we need some backup over here. Oh, apparently the Hydra Coral can attack or something? I'm not really sure what exactly went down here, but... Alright. We found another nest. Taking it down. Yeah. We got a Soap Seed. The soap seed plant is a marvel of xenobiology to propel its offspring in a new territory of the species and case them in soap-like bubbles. Once they've reached a certain size, these bubbles de detect from their parent. The lighter-than-air seeds are then carried by the wind into regions unknown. Alright, so that's uh, energy. Alright, cool. That's a lot of energy, really. Uh, statecraft, plus two diplomatic capital from agreements. That's actually really nice because we have several of those. Um, do I need more, though? Yeah, I'll need more. I'll take it. You know, the hell do I care? I'll, I'm taking it. All right. Man, I just realized how far the African Union really came. They came, came all the way to the south from all the way up there. Uh, just to annoy Chung Su, apparently. I don't know why, but they did.
Yeah, I need upgrades for my cutters. I'm pretty sure he's able to hold his own quite well here. But if he had at least one more upgrade, then he would destroy every alien that was ever born. Um, and I'd like that very much. All right, so th these guys are apparently a lot slower. The, uh, the Tide Hunters, they can only move half as far. All right, take them out. Take out the Rippers. You don't get to live on my planet, man. Oh, hello, alien nest. That's pretty sweet. Um, all right, so this guy is gonna join his friends. You're gonna go over there as well. My city's about to move. All right, so we can choose, We because we built a dry dock, we can choose, do we want extra production towards naval units or do we want just one extra production? Um, so I'm, I'm going with that, definitely. Just give me that. All right, so Cutter is gonna... Yeah, let's kill his sea dragon or something. What is that? Oh, okay, Alpha La. It is not a, a um, one of Hutama's units, so I'm fine. We're starting to get very close to his stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and get rid of some of these aliens so that we can regroup just all of our troops and just completely wipe them out. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, all right, just... Yeah, just kill the Ripper. There we go. One more alien down. We're getting very close to the... Oh, boy. Yeah, here we go. To the last um, two civilizations that we still need to, uh, to, to meet. Let's see. Station Sentinel. All right, so Deep Castle's now done moving. At least for now, they are. Trey Convoy, Workers, Cruisers, Cutters, Tide Hunters. I honestly think I just want to get another cruiser. Uh, because actually one turn I can make a unit that I want even more. Yeah, alright, let's get some, um... Some extra food for that one turn. It's actually really nice that agricultural development is an option. Oh, apparently he's not impressed with my... Military strength because he's only seeing one or two boats, I mean... What are you expecting, buddy? There's more on the way. I think that was the strongest alien in the area. The sea dragons are sort of strong, but not too strong, so I don't really care. Alright, Autonomous Systems is now done. We reached level 6 supremacy already. Unit upgrade to what? Which one are... Oh, here we go. Alright, so we got tech jets. Get an upgrade. Um, intercepting or against land and sea units. Extra range. Alright, so we're probably... If we're going to even use them, which I doubt we are, we'll probably just use them for intercepting, so I'll go with that. Cutters, finally. The upgrade that I wanted all along. Alright, so extra strong when flanking or extra strong when next to a friendly unit. I'll go with that one. Drone cage looks awesome, by the way. Definitely want to make one of those. Uh, Marines. Oh, what? okay. I already took that one. Oh, they're going to look so cool. They're disciples now. Um, all right, let's make them 20% stronger. When next to a buddy. And there we go. So now our cutters are actually called tenets. And they are much, much stronger. Which is sweet. All right, let's have him regroup. We just want to take out the, um... The Hydra Corals, really. See, that's a Wolf Beetle. I don't think they can use ranged attacks. Um, so we should be fine. All right, Sea Dragon, you're going down. We can kill these in only one attack now. That's actually really nice. Because they're kind of a pain up my butt. All right, so here we go. Cruiser, fire. If the cruiser got an upgrade, that would be so crazy, actually. All right, so we need one more supremacy for that to happen. And they can already absolutely destroy the sea dragons. Um, all right, let's defend our stuff. Where'd the... Uh Australian boat go. I thought he had one nearby, but apparently not. Alright, so this cruiser is here to uh, 
to help out a bit. Let's get rid of the Hydra Coral and have my, my dudes heal up a bit. Okay, still alive. Um, all right, next order of business. We're starting to get close to the last, like, tier of technology. It's still pretty tough to get it, but it's getting close. Nano hives. That's, that seems pretty cool as well. I definitely want to check that out, but my harmony isn't high enough yet. Um, although it will give me my, my higher supremacy stuff, which I want. Extra energy from generators, all right. Immortals. That seems pretty cool as well. Transcendental math. Artificial intelligence, here we go. It's more uh, supremacy stuff and also a bit of harmony, which is cool. Uh, synthetic thought. I'm not really sure what I want. Terraforming. I remember terrascapes because they're crazy expensive, but also give pretty good yields. Uh, guy and well, don't really care, honestly. Geophysics. Not bad, really. Alien sciences. This is very harmony based stuff. Bionics is what they suggest if I want. Ooh. Auto sleds. Those are amazing. And if we get this technology, then we are very, very close to being able to make it. I want that. It is a strength of 40. A squad of shock troops mounted on a semi autonomous mobile combat platform. Swift, aggressive rating and reconnaissance unit. If I get that, then I'm pretty sure I can do a lot of damage. And I li I'd like to be able to do that, so let's do it. Uh, drone cage, 16 turns. That's long. Make a dry dock. Get your production up to up to speed. Um, 14 turns. That they just take a lot of production, apparently. More than a master control wonder. Are you kidding me? That's so expensive. Okay. Um, rocket batteries, network, laboratory. Let's just get another, uh, let's get a tenant actually. Yeah, let's do that. All right, anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it here for now. In the next part, we'll continue our little war against um, Australia and hopefully we'll figure out how to advance. We already have four units here. Um, but I like to have about eight, I think, before I really consider an attack on him. And then also I need to get my health back to a more acceptable level. Um, so that's what we're gonna, what we're gonna mess with in the, in the next part. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.